Undergoing breast surgery can be daunting for some patients. We understand the anxiety and emotional stress involved. At NUH, our team of healthcare professionals is committed to support you on this journey. After watching this video clip, you will learn more about Pre-surgery administration and tests How to prepare for the surgery What to expect on the day of the surgery as well as the day after the surgery Jot down any questions that come to your mind while watching this video. Your nurse will gladly answer them after the video. Pre-surgery administration and tests We will schedule a date for the type of surgery you have selected. Our financial counsellor will then provide an estimated cost of the surgery and hospital stay. They will also highlight any government subsidies that are applicable. Please inform our financial counsellor if you have any concerns or worries about the cost of the surgery. Your doctor may order some pre-surgery checks such as blood tests, chest x-ray and an electrocardiogram to ensure that you are physically fit to undergo surgery. You may also be referred to other specialist doctors for further review. Therefore, do bring along all your medications so that the doctor can review and advise you appropriately. How to prepare for the surgery? Avoid consuming traditional herbs such as ginseng or cordyceps as these may increase your risk of bleeding. Please inform your doctor if you are taking any health supplements or blood thinning medications such as aspirin or warfarin. Prepare a few non-wired supportive bras if you are undergoing a wide local excision. If you are undergoing a mastectomy, your nurse will advise you on the use of a breast prosthesis after the surgery. Please refrain from bringing any valuables to the hospital. Do arrange for someone to accompany you home on the day of discharge. Most patients feel more assured if a caregiver is available to help with post-surgery care for the first few days after being discharged. Please do not eat or drink six hours before the surgery. This is to prevent choking when you are under general anesthesia. Our staff will contact you a day before the surgery to confirm the venue and time of admission, inform you when to stop food and drink intake, and to verify that you are feeling well. Our staff from the Operating Theatre Call Centre will call you by 4 p.m. the day before your surgery. If you do not hear from our staff, please contact them at 6772-2118. If you feel unwell nearing the date of your surgery, please inform our staff at Breast Care Centre at 6772-8208. What to expect on the day of the surgery? Please report to the location at the specific time for registration as confirmed by our staff. For patients whose breast lesion is not palpable, a hook wire will be inserted to locate the area for surgery. Some patients may require a special injection before surgery to assist in locating the sentinel lymph node our staff will ensure that you are safe and comfortable before proceeding to the operating room. After surgery, you may feel mild giddiness, nausea, aching discomfort over the wound and tightness in the affected arm. Please inform your nurse should you require any assistance, such as going to the toilet. For your safety, do not get off your bed without any assistance if you experience such symptoms. You will be provided with anti-vomiting medications and painkillers at timed intervals. Please take them as advised to minimize discomfort. The drip connected to your arm after surgery provides fluid for hydration. 
It will be removed once you are able to resume normal diet. You may wish to start with sips of water before gradually resuming food intake. You will notice a shiny layer over the scar. This is a layer of skin glue meant to protect the wound and promote healing. Do not rub or peel off the glue. It will gradually flake off in three to four weeks. Some patients may have one to two drainage tubes attached to the wound to remove excess fluids and promote wound healing. Most patients will be discharged with the drains and your nurse will share with you on how to care for them before leaving the hospital. Your nurse will review your condition at the clinic in the next three to five days. Once the amount of fluid discharged is reduced, the drainage tubes will be removed. What to expect on the day after the surgery? Most patients are able to resume their normal diet and mobility the day after the surgery. You should ask your nurse for assistance if you are unable to do so. Continue to take your anti-vomiting medication when necessary and the painkillers regularly for the next two to three days to promote comfort and facilitate arm movement. Common side effects may include slight dizziness, nausea, and constipation. If you are undergoing a mastectomy or axillary lymph node dissection, you will be referred to a physiotherapist for arm exercises. Most patients are discharged the following day after the surgery. If you're undergoing breast reconstruction, your hospital stay may last between three and seven days. I hope you have gained sufficient information to prepare you for your upcoming surgery. Feel free to ask your nurse or doctor any questions that you may have after watching this video.